What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Giddens, and I'll be showing you how to break down the Seth Williams design and how you too can make a sick ass design like I did. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try to start this thing out from the scratch that I did, try to remember it best I can. If I make mistakes, I'm sorry, I'm a human being. So, let's see. I usually like to start out on a player masking, okay? So I'll come in first and I'll lay down the players. I think it's the right group. Pretty sure it's the right group. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> so, let me go ahead and take away some of that lighting that I got on there. Ooh. Yeah, there's a couple layers on here. I gotta go in and adjust. Sorry, I'm taking my, my precious time with it. <laughs> Alright, so, a little logo for extra effect on there. You start out with your player mask, you make sure you got good player positioning. So, here, right, I come right here and I come in with a layer mask. And I just go in, it's just a basic, it's the basic cutout, right? The original picture, bring it on. Make sure you also have your player cut out for your guy as well. See, boom. You see how you got the whole shebang right there for the bottom field? So, what I do pretty much is I go in, I make it black and white, and I make a player mask, and I go in using the brush tool and just kind of, you know, loosen up some of these sides here. And yeah, you do it best of your ability, however you like doing it, if that's your preference, I don't know if it is or not, but that's mine, and you know, lower the opacity, you can do that, you can have it either like normal or multiply, if it's like a darker type field, which most of the time it usually is, because whenever you black and white green fields, they tend to have darker shading in them, so therefore you'll go in with multiply. Or you can just go in with normal. You can actually change the fill too. I learned this as well here recently. You can change the fill and it'll also kind of give it more of a less dense look to it instead of having it like full. Like, so the opacity here, right? <clears throat> full opacity, you can completely see it, right? You come in here with the fill and you can kind of get some of your detail in there, but not where it's like completely gone. Because with the opacity, it's kind of like you're basically making it transparent. Uh, it's, it's a weird concept to explain. I'm not too sure how to explain it best I can. Um, but there, there's a difference whenever you're using opacity in the fill on your layer. So, yeah, I'm going to change that back to, I think, what I had that, 55. Yeah. That's usually where I like keeping it. Um, so I'll usually do this first. I'll go in with the player masks and just do what I gotta do. And here with the logo, I completely forgot that I had that grouped. But you know, you just go in with the basic logo. If you want to put a logo there, if not, cool, it's whatever. I like putting logo there. I thought it looked good on there. Um, I went in. I had a t what I have. I think I had a paper texture, and I just kind of put over it with a multiply and you know, lower the opacity on that. And I really do like lowering the opacity more <clears throat> when it comes to doing textures because it makes it feel like it's more realistic and it gives it that more weathered look so you got that you can look at and go go through and do whatever you gotta do make it look good that's all what we're about here okay we're all about making badass designs all right now from here I'll usually import my backgrounds so come in with another texture layer this time I got a grunge layer right I got it on multiply a little opacity level of 40% so I made sure I was like looking and I was like hmm alright what else can I put on this to make it look good so 
so yeah. Also, forgot to tell you guys, um, player like shadowing. Shadowing is like very important when it comes to design, right? So when you are trying to just make something pop, make it detailed, just whatever to make it look so much better than what it was, what you're working on. There's always ways to improve, right? So you gotta keep finding different ways. You can always play around with shadows, right? You just kind of mess around with it. You can go in here with, I don't know if it'll load. <clears throat> you can go in here, uh, you let right click on your mouse, or if you're using touchpad, you pretty much, I think that was the same thing, yeah. You right click, yeah. So, I usually like going in perspective, right? So I'll take my brush tool, okay? I'm using my brush tool to go in. And I'll take a circle, right? Make it a little bit bigger. Take my circle, and I'll come in, and I'll perspective wise that one. Make sure you got it like this, not how I had it, like a jackass, alright? You come in. And you just, well, I have that Scion Blue from where I was working on uh, my overcam, my, web, my webcam overlay. <clears throat> you come in, it's not going to ma match up too well because I already got that layer there. Um, I'm doing it on top of it, my fault. You'll go in here, I'll, I'll make a new layer and I'll blur that out. Come in there. That don't look too good, but you kind of get the gist of what I'm trying to do here. Just trying to make that shadow, right? You play around with it, do whatever you gotta do with it, and give yourself that shadow effect. And we'll go ahead and delete that later. All right. So anyway, back back to the background. <clears throat> You're gonna go play around with your background, right? Do whatever you gotta do. Multiply screen overlay linear add. Oh, I'm sorry. Linear dodge, linear dodge add, whatever. Do whatever you gotta do. Play around with it. Make sure you get a good feel for what you want to do. Mostly, most of the time when you're doing these lighter style designs, most of these white out designs, I like to call them. You go in with mostly multiply, and you just play with the opacity on it. That's all you gotta do. And then from here, I added a little bit of effect. I used. Um, what you call this? It's like, oh my gosh, I forgot the name of it. This lines, you know, looks like a geographical map or whatever. Uh, vector lines, if you want to. Uh, it starts with a T. It's on top of my tip of my tongue. I just can't think of it. Anyway, you just play with that, multiply, lower the opacity. You can invert, change color if you'd like to. Um, I, most of the time, if I'm doing a lighter design, I will invert it to black or invert it to white if I'm doing a darker design to make the white lines pop or make the black lines pop. Either or, it doesn't matter. Whatever you feel is comfortable for you to do, that's what you, what you ought to do. And then from here, I kind of went in and I put my backgrounds. So I don't really do a whole lot. It's just kind of how I was doing uh, right here on the field. You know, put the field player mat or not player mask, but go ahead and put a layer mask on it. And you just go in, you brush it, make sure you get all of it, the, all the pieces that you want covered up, and go from there. Uh, you got all these other backgrounds, right? I'll put it in there. This one here, you'll see what in a minute. Uh, stadium player city design or city pictures you want to put in there. Just do what you got to do. You know, make it your design. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my group three here, this is where it comes in. Oh man, I did not layer that, did I? Okay, there we go. Right. Fix it. Oh, yeah, I did put that in there. Oh, that was number 18 that I was going to put there, but it didn't look good to me, so I just kind of whatever. Anyway, a lot of people also ask me how I do my, uh, my, my text. On here, so like effects, you go in, boom, whatever. It's being difficult, bear with me, it's being slow. My computer doesn't know how to run two programs at one time, so, so you know, it, it's fine. We're making a video, we're having a good time, y'all are learning. Uh, 
even though I've already passed nine minutes on the video, I'm about to be ten, so I hope you guys don't mind me sitting here blabbering for the last ten minutes. You know, I go in with an inner glow, uh, a gradient overlay. You know, you fine tune that gradient overlay, right? You find where you need to go on it. That way you don't kind of don't make it look silly. You want to make it look professional, sort of. No, you definitely want to make it look professional. Um, sometimes I'll put a drop shadow on there and I'll kind of go in, you know, lower the opacity here, change the size, spread. You just got to play around with it. That's mainly all it is when it comes to the creative design. It's just messing with something until it looks good to you and you know, what you feel like looks good to the, the viewer. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel what I did on that. <clears throat> and you, know, you just do like uh, this stuff here go in make your rectangle right make a rectangle you fill it you resize it you can skew it distort it whatever you want to do with it um, I want to come up here to the lighting effects this is a big one that everybody wants to know how I do it all right y'all always want to know how I make these lighting effects right how I get good player treatment and all that stuff so it's very very simple to do honestly so like you go in you take your player mask <clears throat> you you mask it right you go in with a brush and you just get these outlines you hit the outlines with a light color um, most of the time I use white I really don't use anything else besides white and you go in and you just hit the edges and you go back in and you erase and kind of clean it up a little bit <clears throat> and then you hit linear add or linear dodge I'm sorry you go in linear dodge it you do it with all with what you feel is comfortable like when I said with what you feel is comfortable you go in and do it with oh didn't mean to do that that's a different logo I forget to delete layers when I'm doing this and I just keep adding layers so I've got like 72 layers on one design it's crazy and you just basically get all your lights your lighting effects and that's how it just keeps coming through um you can make all kinds of crazy stuff there's another lighting effect that I did there you know that's just to give it more umps you know make it more crisp more nice what I like to do uh, most of the time I will go in player mask something and I use, I really do like using channel mixer because you see here it gives it like very good it brings out the contrast and the composition, and it just makes makes the colors pop, makes the lighters make the light lighter, all that good stuff. I got pre-made CCs, uh, you know, it's just how I go. Um, you know, you just always make sure you're adding corrective color. Make sure you're always adding CCs because you can always do good. You can also go into Camera Raw and you can adjust that too if you'd like to. Um, but that's just pretty much that's what I like doing I don't really use camera raw um, for CC's I usually do it on my players before I put them in the design and make that you know, start going from there and I just kind of add layers on top of layers using the, uh, using the effects you know, layer adjustments and whatnot and there's my watermark and so yeah that's pretty much the whole breakdown on the Seth Williams design I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. If not, maybe I was talking too fast. You know, give me feedback on how I did. You know, tell me I sucked. I don't care. You know, I'm just here trying to help the community and do what I can for me to, you know, take my path one step further and my career goals as a graphic designer. Um, you know, whatever helps the community, guys. You know, uh, that's all I want to do. I've been doing this stuff for almost eight years now. Hard to believe coming up on eight. <clears throat> but, yeah, like I said, this is the breakdown. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. I don't care what you do. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you want to. Get into designs if that's where you're coming from. If not, if you just found this video on YouTube because you're trying to find ways to do tutorials and make your own sports designs, found me through there. Make sure you follow me on designs because I can you can DM me and I'll answer man I'm always replying to everybody I'm always commenting back at people and all that good stuff so yeah um, until next time I'm gonna get a schedule so
start making videos again. Uh, I'm also trying to do sports podcasts and design podcasts, so if anybody's interested in doing that with me, let me know. Um, you can DM me on Instagram, or you can comment on this video, and I'll give you my Discord, and you know, we'll conversate and do a podcast over whatever sports we like to talk about. You know, I'm a big Auburn fan, obviously. If you follow my Instagram, you'll know. So, I've done went 15 minutes over this video, guys. Um, this is a little too long. It's probably, uh, wait, this is way longer than what I was shooting for. So, um, I might start live streaming as well. Uh, yeah, so far, that's pretty much all I've got. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you guys on the next upload.